Good morning YouTube. We are heading out of Fontana Village in North Carolina today. Uh, it's day five of my little road trip. We're going to head down the Moonshiner 28 into South Carolina. Uh, it's supposed to be a great ride with uh, plenty of waterfalls and uh, scenic overpasses uh, to check out. And then once we get into South Carolina, we'll crash there for the night and then head up 95 North back to the DMV. Before we hit the road, if you enjoy this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. I put my ride and ride related content out every Friday. So hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you'll get an alert when my new videos are out. All right, let's hit it. So, we are officially on the Moonshiner 28. So it actually starts from Deals Gap, where we were yesterday, and runs down to Wahala, South Carolina. There is a, a waterfall that you used to be able to drive behind. It's like a route, rock outcropping over the highway with the waterfall coming down, and you could drive under it. But apparently they barricaded it off, so you can't do that anymore. That's a shame. We got about a 100 mile ride ahead of us, 92 miles. So I think we missed, we're missed. we missing eight miles from that little bit between Fontana and Deals Gap, which is okay. And uh, we're just gonna see what we see. I'm gonna play my music, which as usual means I'm playing you your music. Trust me, they're nothing alike. Uh, but I'll, as always, try and find something fresh and new I think we're gonna come into a stretch of meadow out here that is just so amazing. Like once you ride all these twists and turns up and down hills and then you come into this meadow and it's like, oh. Let's just appreciate it. I mean, just look at this. Beautiful, so nice. Ah. A lot of motorcycles out. I love it. Beautiful. Oh, don't go. Don't do it. Don't do it. Those guys came whipping around this corner real fast, and that cop turned right around to go get them. This should be nice. Let him go. Hmm. Something tells me mountain twisties are coming. Ugh. So one thing about Tell the Dragon. You know, it's 318 curves, whatever it is. But a lot of them are like, like this. And then you get these huge U-turn kind of deals. And that's almost as tight as anything on the Dragon. Riding roads like this, you really want to have your torque up. Makes for a more stable turn, in my opinion.
Temperature is 63. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that river. Mm. Oh, guys. I mean, every ride is like this, man. Every ride out here is like this. My bigger fear are the cars coming around the corner than me.
getting a little wet here. That's so cool. That was the falls. <clears throat> we will see what kind of footage we actually got. I used a GoPro because my iPhone is having camera problems. It's like, put the, the camera on and it just kind of shakes. If you do zoom, it works. Sometimes that restores the regular function, sometimes it doesn't. So, we use the GoPro, we'll see how it looks. I think the iPhone footage is always really nice compared to the GoPro. That was really cool. Really, really cool. And the next falls is the one you can, you used to be able to drive under. I don't, I don't, I haven't. I have no expectation that I'll be able to do that today. But we can always hope. Maybe they just closed it temporarily. Oh, looky, looky. I mean, I could ride through there. But I'm not going to do it. I'm a good boy. It's really pretty. Oh, it feels good. 68 degrees. <clears throat> this is a damn. Sticks in the road. Never feels good hitting sticks. We're in Georgia. A little piece of Georgia on the way to South Carolina. Just give me a straight away. Oh, right away, straight away. <laughs> but there's a narrow bridge. Slow down. Like this is Tale of the Dragon Twisty. Two thousand eight hundred and one miles on the Challenger. Walhalla. I assume it's pronounced Walhalla.
Well, that's it. We just hit the finish line. Well, guys, we're here in Walhalla, South Carolina. It's the end of the Moonshiner 28 ride. And it's also the end of my five-day road trip, at least as far as my GoPro cameras are concerned. Uh, now I'm just going to head down towards 95, and in the morning I'm going to jump on that puppy and jet up to D.C. as fast as I can. Uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd certainly appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. I put my ride and ride related content out every Friday. So hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you'll get an alert when my new video is out. Um, I have five days of tons of video that I have to now edit. I'm glad I have like seven videos in the queue because it might take me seven weeks just to get a couple of these up. <laughs> uh, but hopefully, once these are up on the channel, you guys appreciate them. My takeaway of my five-day road trip, everything was super twisty, which is awesome. But now I'm really looking forward to just sitting on 95 North for, you know, 10 hours, just mm, twisting the throttle. Um, amazing roads in North Carolina and Tennessee. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it. Hopefully the video will do it justice, especially Tale of the Dragon, which is super twisty. It's not just super twisty, but it's roads that pivot anyways. We'll get all that up on the channel. Um, I had an amazing time. Uh, all I can tell you guys is if you have a chance to jump on your bike and go far away for days uh, to go to, you know, locations that are known for riding motorcycles, then I just say do it. Go for it. If you're in the DMV, my recommendation is, you know, jump on Skyline Drive, hit the Blue Ridge Parkway, do it uh, in a time when, you know, you have a, a pretty good expectation of being able to get a room uh, anytime, any place, And don't actually make reservations anywhere. You know, don't force yourself to be in a certain location on a certain day. That way you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Uh, do it at your leisure and just take it all in without a care in the world. But that's all I got for you guys today. I am out of here. Uh, appreciate you watching. And... Please stay safe out there, and I'll catch you next video.